Electricity is all around us. We use it every day, in dozens of ways. Most of us take it for granted. We tend to forget the incredible power, as well as the danger it represents. Many people assume because they're not working around high voltages, they're not in any danger. Electricity kills or injures thousands of people every year. Some deaths caused by electrocution actually go undetected because they're mistaken for heart attacks. Low currents, like the kind you have in your home, passing through the chest can cause the heart to stop. And even an electric shock that isn't strong enough to hurt you can be dangerous. Small shocks can create involuntary muscle contractions, causing you to, say, fall from a ladder or hit a piece of moving machinery. To avoid electrical hazards, it's important to understand how you get an electrical shock. Electricity travels in closed circuits, and its normal route is through a conductor. You get a shock when your body becomes part of the electrical circuit. The current must enter your body at one point and leave at another. Shock normally occurs in one of three ways. You come in contact with both wires of the electrical circuit, you come in contact with one wire of an energized circuit and the ground, or you come in contact with a metallic part that has become hot by being in contact with an energized wire while you are also in contact with the ground. How much do you know about electrical hazards? In this segment, we'll show you several scenes that contain electrical hazards. How many can you identify? Here, Edward is working with a saw. What's wrong with this picture? Notice the damage to the cord. If he touched these exposed wires, he could get a shock. Also notice the crack in the tool casing. It's also a potential hazard and should be repaired. Jerry is moving equipment near an open electrical panel. The exposed wires present an extremely serious hazard. Inadequate electrical box covers are one of the most commonly cited OSHA violations. All electrical equipment, including rooms, vaults, and enclosures, must have guarding. Here's a common, but very dangerous practice. This cord is equipped with a three-prong plug, but Gina is using an extension that only fits a two-prong plug. To make it fit, she cut off the ground prong. The equipment will operate, but it's a serious hazard. Never break off or damage a ground prong. Scott is taking a big risk. You should never service or maintain any energized equipment without following lockout tagout procedures. Machinery or equipment must be turned off and disconnected from the energy source, and the energy isolating device must be either locked or tagged out. Look for more information on lockout tagout procedures in future segments of Safety Watch. ladder too close to a power line can be a deadly mistake. If the ladder touched the line, current could pass through Walt's body and form a loop through the ground. OSHA mandates that you keep all equipment, including man lifts and cranes, at least 10 feet away from power lines. How quick were you to find the hazards? Perhaps they seemed obvious to you. But even if you know a lot about electrical hazards, you may still find yourself taking risks with electricity. Maybe you're hurrying to finish up a job, cut a few corners, take a few chances, but it only takes one wrong move to give you the shock of your life.